We turn now to our weekly segment, TikTok, where we take a look at the story behind the sensation. And our guest this week is on a mission to eliminate bias and challenge the way we think. Born with a genetic condition that resulted in the amputation of both of his legs, longtime disability and LGBTQ plus activist Spencer West has taken to TikTok to educate his more than 3 million followers and share his personal story. Spencer, what a privilege to have you on the show. Thanks so much for joining us. Likewise, thank you for having me. So in your videos, you talk about the internal and external struggles that you faced growing up because of limited representation for those disabilities. Do you feel that social media platforms like TikTok are highlighting representation in a way that could lead to a more understanding and accepting next generation? Yeah, I think that's what's really amazing about TikTok and social media in general, is that it is a, it is a platform that allows you to reach a much larger audience without having to leave your home. And for many folks with disabilities, that is key because we live in a world that is still full of barriers and ableism. So to be able to have a platform that you can control but reach a large audience, uh, I think has really been a game changer specifically for folks with disabilities. And you've mentioned that you've had to unlearn and work to reverse the impact of ableism on your understanding of yourself. What's that journey been like as you've had to redefine your own internal narrative? Yeah, you know, I grew up in the 80s where we were told that you want to overcome your disability. You don't want to be seen as disabled. You want to be seen as just like everyone else. And as I've gotten older and we've started to learn more about the world and we've learned that that's actually really damaging. And actually, I'm proud to be disabled. I'm proud to wear that, that identity. And, you know, I live in a world that is not I'm trying to overcome my disability. I'm actually trying to overcome ableism and the barriers that exist that we, we choose to allow to exist on a daily basis in all parts of the global community. And you've been very open about the intersectionality between your disability and queer identity and how the LGBTQ plus community has fallen short in terms of acceptance and accessibility. What should the LGBTQ community be doing to be more inclusive as far as those uh, with disabilities? Yeah, I, I think, you know, it, it, it's like everything to having spaces that are actually accessible, that folks with disabilities can access and be a part of the community. I think, at least from my experience, what I experience is oftentimes you want to go to uh, an establishment or a bar or a club that is, you know, for the queer community, and it's not accessible. There, there's either stairs to get in or there's not an accessible washroom or, you know, I can manage sort of stairs and getting out of my wheelchair and walking on my hands, but then you go up to the bar, you know, and the bar is here, and I'm down here. so. <laughs> Getting rid of some of those barriers so that we can truly be an inclusive community is a really good place to start. And your content shows how you navigate life with a disability. In one video, you touched on the privilege of your disability. Uh, break down for us what some of those privileges are and, and how they've helped you overcome adversity. Yeah, so, you know, I had a genetic disease that I was born with, and then my legs were amputated just below my pelvis so I could get around better. Now, for me, although I'm a wheelchair user, I'm able to get out of my wheelchair and walk on my hands, and I, I'm able to lift my wheelchair up a few stairs or up a curb, and I can access a lot of spaces much easier. But that's not the lived experience of most folks with disabilities. Most folks with disabilities don't have the ability to get out of their wheelchair. So for me, though, those are some of the privileges that I face, or you know, if I need to use a washroom, I can you know, walk downstairs if I absolutely have to. So those are the, some of the privileges that I have. And I think it's important to, to recognize that, that I don't actually represent the majority of folks um, because I'm able to access all spaces a little bit easier. And you're certainly not allowing your disability to stop you from your goals and your dreams. What motivated you to climb up Mount Kilimanjaro? How long did that take? <laughs> so, uh, you know, I was, I was traveling the world as a motivational speaker, telling folks you need to make a difference, but I was just talking about it and I never had actually done it myself. And I thought that doesn't seem right for me to tell folks to do when I'd never done it either. So uh, myself and my two best friends uh, created a campaign where our goal was to raise a half a million dollars for clean water in East Africa, who was at the time facing one of the largest droughts they'd seen in over 60 years. And that's sort of how it all came to be. And, you know, it was a beautiful exchange between my friends and myself of offering each other help as we navigated getting to the top of the largest mountain in Africa. Super impressive feat that you were able to accomplish there. What's the main message that you hope that those watching take away from your videos? I hope folks take away that, that we exist, that folks with disabilities exist, that the intersectionality of being disabled and queer also exists. And like everyone else, we're just looking for a chance to navigate and be a part of the world and the community. 
uh, you know, with, with all identities, but those two in particular. And I hope people walk away with a little bit of education and a little bit of empathy on what it's like for someone like me to navigate the world. And the next time they visit a space, they might notice the barriers they didn't notice before. And hopefully they'll speak up and, and help us, you know, break some of that ableism down. Spencer West, just a privilege to talk to you. We thank you so much for coming on the show. My pleasure. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.